Definition The term street art makes specific reference to visual street art. Street art encompasses both the graffiti as various other forms of street art expression. Since the mid-90s of 20th century, the term street art or post graffiti is used to describe the work of a diverse group of artists who have developed the mode of artistic expression on the streets by using various techniques, templates, posters, stickers, murals. They move away from the famous graffiti since not always has to be on walls, in the current century is already possible all expertly even draw in 3D on sidewalks or plazas. Street art meant to surprise viewers whereby is exposed in fairly busy public places. It usually has a striking subversive message that criticizes society with irony and invites the social struggle, political criticism or simply to reflect. There is some debate about the real objectives of the artists that currently intervene in public spaces because some of them cause damage to private property. However it is possible to distinguish an artistic expression of a simple territorial graffiti or pure vandalism. Origins Some street artists use smart vandalism as a way to raise awareness of social and political issues. Other street artists simply see urban space as an untapped format for personal artwork while others may appreciate the challenges and risks that are associated with installing illicit artwork in public places. The universal motive of street artist is adapting visual artwork into a format which utilizes public space allows artists who may otherwise feel disenfranchised to reach a much broader audience than traditional artwork and galleries normally allow. A seminal figure in the street art movement is John Fetcher, born in New York City. He is an innovative multidisciplinary artist who created hundreds of environmental and conceptual outdoor works consisting of stenciled words, symbols and icons spray painted in New York, Sweden, Canada, England and Germany in the 1970s and 1980s. However, it is not until the early 90s of 20th century with the emergence of artists such as the American Shepherd Ferry and his campaign Obey formerly Andre the Giant has a posse designed from the image of the American wrestler Andre the Giant and performed through the use of posters and templates. When the various proposals of this type rapidly expanded to different parts of the world and are perceived as a whole as part of the same phenomenon or artistic movement, Banksy Techniques and Themes Banksy is a pseudonymous of the United Kingdom-based graffiti artist political activist, film director, and painter. The data about his identity is uncertain and details of his biography are unknown. Nevertheless, recently was published a book entitled Freedom Through Football, the story of the Eastern Cowboys and Cowgirls that confirms one of the first photographs taken to Banksy while he was performing at Rafidi in Chiapas, Mexico in 2001. Banksy began as a freehand graffiti artist in 1999-1994 as one of Bristol Driveries crew DBZ, with Cato and Tez. He was inspired by local artists and his work was part of the larger Bristol underground scene with Nick Walker, Pinky and 3D. Other influence in his work is the French artist Black Lee Rat. From the start Banksy used stencils as elements of his freehand pieces. By 2000 he had turned to the art of stenciling after realizing how much less time it took to complete the work. He claims that he changed to stenciling while he was hiding from the police under a rubbish lorry, when he noticed the stenciled serial number and by employing this technique he soon became more widely noticed for his art around Bristol and London. Technique Ask about his technique, Banksy said, I use whatever it takes. Sometimes that just means drawing the mustache on a girl's face on some billboard. Sometimes that means sweating for days over an intricate drawing. Efficiency is the key. Stencils are traditionally hand-drawn or printed onto sheets of acetate or cards before being cut out by hand. Because of the secretive nature of Banksy's work and identity, it is uncertain what techniques he uses to generate the images in his stencils, though it is assumed he uses computers for some images due to the photocopy nature of much of his work. He mentions in his book, Wall and Peace, that as he was starting to do graffiti, he was always too slow and was either caught or could never finish the art in one sitting. So he devised a series of intricate stencils to minimize time and overlapping of the color. Themes Banksy stencils feature striking and humorous images occasionally combined with slogans. The message is usually anti-war, anti-capitalist or anti-establishment in a tone of anarchism, nihilism, and existentialism. Subjects often include rats, monkeys, policemen, soldiers, children, and the elderly. 
His satirical street art and subversive epigrams combine dark humor with graffiti executed in a distinctive stenciling technique. Such artistic works of political and social commentary have been featured on streets, walls, and bridges of cities throughout the world. Additionally, the components of the human condition that his works commonly critique are greed, poverty, hypocrisy, boredom, despair, absurdity, and alienation. Although Banksy's works usually rely on visual imagery and iconography to put forth his message, Banksy is also known for having introduced disguised in famous museums around the world to hang some of his works clandestinely. In this way, he has placed his works in Tate Modern Gallery London British Museum London Museum of Modern Art New York Brooklyn Museum New York American Museum of Natural History New York The success that Banksy has been in commercial circuits is another element that adds to the controversy about their work and their identity. But undoubtedly, is one of the most influential personages in the movement of street art. <laughs>